906 on Take 5, Andy Frank along with Kata Dak, and uh, we're going to be speaking with author Rosalind Franken, and as we have this conversation, then you say, oh, I want to know more about that. Um, I'm just going to set this stage once, and then I'll do it again near the end of the interview. Rosalind is going to be signing her book, The A-List, Nine Guiding Principles for Healthy Eating and Positive Living at Chapters, 126 John Street, at noon today for a couple of hours. Uh, we'll also be at the Holistic World Expo at the Metro Convention Center, speaking at 1 o'clock. Uh, Rosalind, what, when is that? That's on uh, Saturday, on 1 Saturday? o'clock. But I'm there all weekend at booth 157. All right, 157. Mark that down. And so you had a chance to look at the book, Andy. I did. I did. Just one last thing. Oh. Um, the website is uh, thealist.com. That's where you can get A-list-book.com. the Like I said, thealistbook.com. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask you what you thought about it, the A-list book. I was, uh, I was, I actually liked it very much, and there's a couple of reasons why. And we're going to talk to Rosalind. Welcome. Thank you. As to why it is, I liked it. But I have to confess to you, Kate. I have been on every diet on this planet. I've, I really have. I've been on many of them. I have more expired gym memberships than Brittany has expired mm. rehab plans. Really, <laughs> okay. they are all over Canada too, from various different gyms I've been they've at. Got your name, but they've never seen you show up. <laughs> no, that's right. Um, and when someone gives me a book like this, I often tend to run. Uh, pretty fast but uh, you know being the great radio star that i am i get a, a number of these kinds of books <laughs> and uh so rosalind please be gentle with me uh, <laughs> the, the thing that i really liked about the book first of all was your paradigm your perspective on uh, writing about nutrition and about health and so on because you are a cancer survivor you're a young woman now you were even younger that's right when you had cancer how did that shape your outlook on health and nutrition well having had cancer when i was 29 years old my focus when it came to a time where I decided that's it, that I wanted to get in better shape and get in better health, my focus was completely health-related. A lot of people, when they're looking to reach and maintain a healthy weight, it's because they want to you know, get back to the weight they were in high school or they want to look better in a pair of jeans and that kind of thing, which, of course, is very nice. But my approach is this is about your health. This is about how good you feel about yourself from the inside. It's not just about what you look like on the outside. But one of the things I found really remarkable that you wrote in there was, even though you were and are a cancer survivor, it 